and happiness. To bring success for beautiful Practically free of any visible foreign matter except permitted substances used to prolong its shelf life. The cassava roots are free from external moisture, excluding condensation due to cold storage. The cassava is not so curved, crooked, constricted, ridged, or otherwise misshapen that its appearance is appreciably affected. The cassava root is not so curved, crooked, constricted, ridged, or otherwise misshapen that its appearance is materially affected or there is a loss of more than 5% of the total weight of the cassava in the ordinary preparation for use. The cassava is so curved, crooked, constricted, ridged or otherwise misshapen that its appearance is seriously affected or there is a loss of more than 10% of the total weight of the cassava in the ordinary preparation for use. Produce not affected by rotting or deterioration such as to make it unfit for consumption. Caused by microorganisms, moisture and heat among others. Cassava shall be whole, firm, sound practically free of mechanical damage and bruising, clean, practically free of pests affecting the general appearance of the produce, practically free of damage caused by pests, dry, free of loss of color in the flesh, free from growth cracks with mycelium around it caused by moisture, mechanical damage, temperature changes, and improper handling, among others. Free from soil particles. Free of any foreign smell and or taste. The cut at the distal or narrow end of the cassava should not exceed 2.0 cm in diameter. The stalk end of the root should have a clean cut between 1 and 2.5 cm in length. The cassava must have been carefully harvested and have reached an appropriate degree of physiological development, account being taken of the characteristics of the variety and to the area in which they are grown. The development and condition of the cassava must be such as to enable it withstand transport and handling and arrive in satisfactory condition at the place of destination. Cassava in this class must be superior quality, must be characteristic of the variety and or commercial type, must be free of defects with the exception of very slight superficial defects provided these do not affect the general appearance of the produce, the quality, the shelf life and presentation in the package. Quality tolerance for extra class. 5% by number or weight of cassava not satisfying the requirements of this class but meeting those of class 1. Cassava in this class must be of good quality. It must be characteristic of the variety and or commercial type. The following slight defects however may be allowed provided these do not affect the general appearance of the produce, the quality, the shelf life, and presentation in the package. Fairly well shaped. Scarring or healed damage not exceeding 5% of the surface area. Scraped areas not exceeding 10% of the surface area. The defects must not in any case affect the pulp of the produce. Quality tolerance for class 1. 10% by number or weight of cassava not satisfying the requirements of the class but meeting those of class 2. 
This class includes cassava which does not qualify for inclusion in the higher classes but satisfy the minimum requirements specified in section 41 above. The following defects may be allowed provided the cassava retains its essential characteristics as regards the quality, the shelf life and presentation. Not badly misshapen. Scarring or healed damage not exceeding 10% of the surface area. Scraped areas not exceeding 20% of the surface area. The defect must not in any case affect the pulp of the produce. Quality tolerance for class 2. 10% by number or weight of cassava satisfying neither the requirements of the class nor the minimum requirements with the exception